What's up guys, this is the Roferman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States and we are now almost at war with pretty much the entire world. Um, so we are, we've got a chance to chew up some Italian, some uh, Swedish troops here so let, we are definitely going, well we can't choose anything else, we are going to take it. So we're going to, going to deploy back and chew up some of these Spanish, the uh, Swedish troops. So let's crack on. So we have had a Russian declaration and invasion. So we now need to A, go retake Scotland from the Russians. Also have a standing army in Britain. I should really have what I've made sure all my ports were blockaded. Well, not blockaded, but occupied. But we need to go back, secure Scotland. And really build a navy to intercept these Russian fleets. So we are going to deploy right the way back because we are quite depleted. Wow, we are depleted. Let's just deploy guns either side of our infantry. slightly stronger right flank Let's put this tiny unit of militia over here to try help out this flank they get the lion's share of probably all my cavalry actually we're going to be relying heavily on our quick line firing mortars they will be what saves us if they save us Quick climb inbound. That's what we want to see. I'm going to put it on slightly faster speed um, because right now it's going to be our artillery just, just you know, blowing the hell out of them. And the quick climb isn't going to be any, isn't going to be very nice for them either when it finally uh, fires. So we can get our three artillery shots, three artillery shots in the time it takes. Whoa, okay. An artillery and other. Other and my other foot artillery unit can. Uh... Yeah, I thought I had. Yeah, I thought I had an infantry unit in there somewhere. up on this Swedish cav unit. Shattered, fall back. There goes their general. Nope, fall back. Get one of our howitzers to keep firing at the engineers. Might be a bit. F yeah, they are far from the canister shot. Still get some hits. They've dropped stakes. 
and maybe they're undoing. Ah, oh, no, they weren't. Okay, I'm going to halt fire there. Let my infantry get all their shots off. Gang up. Halt fire at will. Ah, oh, no. Artillery to fire at the Dragoons at long range. Start to weaken them. These are see, Regiment of Dragoons, Royal Swedish Dragoons. See, they're a bit bugged. So just keep quick climbing them. We can keep firing. Long range round shot. Until, that is, these traps get within range. You go for the Grenadiers. Killed 10 Grenadiers, not enough. Damn, that was a good shot for a miss. opening fire on the Lancer guards. damage on the charge but that's why we've got to counter charge let's pivot these guys should be the lancers we'll, we'll take damage initially but we will win in a drawn out conflict good Shattered. Those hit the grenadiers. <sighs> Too bad the dragoons are gonna suck up a bunch of uh, my troops shots okay definitely fall back because you guys need to you guys need to provide artillery support. You guys all fire at will again. Shatter, that's what I like to see. Go for the Grenadiers, they're the strongest. Run my cavalry up. Let's 
think my weakest infantry unit. Oh, they're shattered, so don't worry about them. Okay, let's take my 23 strong unit. You go hit their artillery. Guard, the quick line come in. Obviously, watching these uh, spikes. Go try and intercept. Oh no, those marines are shattered. Broken, but continue to engage. Shattered, shattered, shattered. Broken, broken. Because they are. No, oh, they're just. Oh, they are shattered. My bad. Change all my artillery to round shot. Oh, the general's been killed anyway. So, who's not shattered? You go. It's garrison guards. You're shattered. Line infantry guards. Damn right, we're going to continue. Shattered, but kill him anyway. Shattered, 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 broken, exhausted. But it's their general, so I don't really care. Okay, you guys need to gang up on the uh, garrison guards to make sure they shatter. Good. The rest of it just uh, have Adam. Just chop down the grenadiers. Yeah, they're shattered as well. Go for the light infantry, they're all grouped together. There we go. The grenadiers should route because they're so close. There we go, decisive victory. Good. It's a word that's always nice to see. We lost 200 men, they lost 1,800. Well, nearly 300 men, they lost 1,800. But more are coming. There come the piratas. Enemy raid in Glasgow. So what ship have you got? One fifth rate. So you men get up there and lay siege to the city. This ship move around to here. It's a sloop, so I can't intercept with it, sadly. 
really don't have any ships that can actually... My main fleet is not fully repaired. So you guys replenish and march on to Tangier. They may go on to Gibraltar. If they do, that's okay. Maybe let's put an infantry unit in the fishing fleet. So you want probably some cool infantry, but get some Swiss Guard and some two Swiss Guard, two lines. I need to be very, I need to be cost efficient here. Technological advance, steam pump, land drainage. Okay, with this fella. I am going to attack that, but I just want to do a bit more stuff first. So. Britain's hunker down there. I want my rake to get over to Jerusalem, just to get, get eyes on what's going on over there. Looks like they're very unhappy. Build a trading port. Let's repair some of these buildings. Basically, let's do a bit of economic infrastructure building. Let's get this rake. He can go over. Gone along, walked Anatolia. Sadly, none of my ships can will probably make it past this fella to intercept this Russian army. But it's not a very good army. Well, let's just tack on a few more... A few more line and two more pikes. So you've lost trade with Russia. Her army got destroyed in Morocco. So I think a good thing to do would be to try to take... Or do I even try and take Tripoli? Or do I just try and go Britain? Peace. Except I've lost Morocco. And that's okay. But now it allows my fleet... And I'll probably just use my smaller fleet here. It allows my smaller fleet to break out and sink this ship. That's the kind of thing that takes precedence, really. Uh, that's a sick throw there. Yeah, if I can do this, if I can capture this ship, then that's an entire Russian navy, Russian army, dealt with. Especially these are all captured British ships. Yeah, it sucks to lose. Well, it sucks to lose Morocco because it gives Britain a uh, opportunity to interfere with my plans. But I need to break Sweden, and ideally, ideally, I would take Paris and then ask for peace and force all our armies back behind the in, behind the borders. But yes, we want to take, we want to capture, or surrender, this ship. Samson. Which obviously means I'm going to be chain-shotting to knock the masts out to make sure that I am definitely faster. And then this squadron will form part of my squadron defending the British Isles. Well, you will actually just form a broadside. Fire a broadside. In fact, you separate from the group and come around like this with chain shot. 
you can now pivot around. The chain shot is they're attempting to turn into the wind. around oh damn there goes one last okay, you can pretty much hunker down there you start to come around here firing broadsides continuously you fire some more wasn't quick Good to fire broadside. You're more about firing round shot. There we go, then board that ship. Surrendered. Close victory. Good. Take into service as fifth rates aren't unusable. So who's in here? Okay, drop this guy into Belfast to stop them from crossing over the Irish Sea. Who's in here? There's a third rate and a fourth rate, so those would be difficult to dodge around. You're ready to push on. Um, I'm pretty sure I demolished you to build a school, but now I no longer need one. Instead, you're going to go back to being an industrial building. And we also could do with a sloop to sit in Portsmouth. Let's build an Iron Master's works. Could take a few turns to earn the value of that, to get the return from that. Same with this Iron Master's works, really. This navy is for is repairing. You can refit. Well, you're gonna be ready for when we eventually declare on Britain. Let's get you back to Syracuse. Let's get you to. Raid Le Havre, because they're upgrading it. Let's cancel. That's from steel. Let's just stop them from... Let's deprive them of that income. The hope is, if I can take Paris, then suddenly this front becomes a lot cleaner and I can fortify along here. Obviously the Russians are now a problem, but I can potentially... I mean, yeah, I don't need a full army like this to take out... Tripoli. Oh man. I forgot about Patras. Well, you re re embark. Take this navy. Sail to Pylos. Ordini? Your army's trapped as a blocker. I don't want to necessarily take Athens. I just want to prevent the Russians from pushing. So I want you guys to replenish as soon as possible. So let's make a gap to fire more infantry in there. 
pick up a few more infantry. Put a seminary in Ireland, which is not really needed, but take advancing the good. Regions lost, Scotland and Morocco, armies destroyed. Captured Savoy, signed peace with Britain. Is it possible to trade with Britain? No. I mean, they really don't like us, so I don't think good relations are on the cars. I would love to expand in the Americas, but I don't really have any capacity. I don't want to draw the wrath of the, Mo the Mughal Empire, which own the majority of the continent. But I think there's not very much left to do except for attacking Paris. Signore, i vostri ordini. Get back to Venice. You guys get a couple of howitzers. You guys also add on some howitzers. And then Vito Spero, whose army has not really been bloodied. Well, it has a bit. It has fought the Swedes before. Oh no, they got loads of mortars. That's really dodgy. I might have to hold on. That's a lot of mortars to assault. I mean, they got lots of militia and armed. Well, it's lots of militia and armed citizenry as well, actually. We got lots of howitzers. We can quick, quick climb the hell out of them. Um, but that'll probably take us well over the end of our turn limit, or our time limit for the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Paris. Cheers, everyone.